I think as far as the broad policy considerations are concerned, the work that the Speaker of the House has done with the task forces, not just in healthcare, but other policy areas as well, I really think that's the place where uh, the new administration, the Trump administration, can build their policy around those pieces that have already been crafted by, uh, by House leadership. Uh, I don't love everything in it, but at the same time, there's enough there to, uh, to work with. And, and many of the things that are there in the platform as well are the types of things that uh, those of us on the, on the market-driven side of healthcare have been talking about for years. Those of us who have always been deeply skeptical of the Affordable Care Act and its ability to do all of the things that it was claimed to be able to do, now we're beginning to see some of those fissures and, and cracks in the foundation. And what really worries me, apart from the politics of, of it all, uh, I, I mean, I'd like to say I told you so and so there, but a lot of people are going to get hurt. And I see that back home in Texas. Look, I have an unsubsidized uh, Blue Cross plan in the exchange. I didn't take the special deal that was offered to members of Congress. I said, I got to do what everybody else back home has to do. So I've seen the rates go up, big jumps each year, big jumps. This year they're talking about a 60% increase. Last year, the Blue Cross PPO went away. So now you're not only paying the top price, you're paying it for an HMO with a very restricted panel. So it's, uh, again, the fissures are there, the cracks are there, and, and I'm just worried, that, particularly for people in the individual market, there is some serious pain that is, that is going to be dealt to them. And I would like for us to do whatever is necessary to, to mitigate some of that pain. Look, there's, uh, there's a lot of work to be done with, with MACRA and the implementation. Um, it's better than the SGR, so let's, let's just be sure we establish that fact up front. Uh, all of the things that people are worried about, uh, the, the performance metrics that uh, practices are going to have to meet, those were already there under PQRS, meaningful use, value-based modifier, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, MACRA did consolidate all of those into one reporting structure and, and reduce the negative consequences for not being in compliance. But yeah, there's a lot of work to be done there. Would I feel better about working with the Department of Health and Human Services under a Republican administration versus a Democratic administration? And the answer is unequivocally, absolutely yes. Uh, I will say this for, for the uh, folks at CMS and HHS, of all of the healthcare policy things I have seen happen in my 10 or 12 years in Congress, this is the one, MACRA is the one where there is the greatest sensitivity to from the agency asking, are we doing it the way you intended?